In Ava Reed's Lady Macbeth, the story begins by establishing the world of medieval Scotland, providing a rich, atmospheric backdrop that highlights the harsh realities of life during this time. The early chapters delve into Lady Macbeth's background, giving readers insight into her upbringing and the societal constraints she faced as a noblewoman. These formative experiences are crucial in understanding her complex character as they reveal the internal conflicts and ambitions that drive her actions throughout the novel. As the narrative progresses, Lady Macbeth's marriage to Macbeth is portrayed as a union rooted in both love and mutual ambition. The dynamics of their relationship are explored in depth, showing how their partnership is characterized by a shared desire for power and influence. Lady Macbeth's influence over Macbeth is evident, as she emerges as the more dominant figure in their marriage pushing him toward the fulfillment of the witch's prophecy. The supernatural encounter with the witches marks a turning point in the story. The prophecy that Macbeth will become king ignites a fire within both characters, but it is Lady Macbeth who takes the lead in plotting to make this prophecy a reality. Her determination and cunning are on full display as she begins to strategize, revealing a woman who is willing to go to great lengths to achieve her goals, even if it means committing heinous acts. The plot to murder King Duncan is meticulously detailed, with Lady Macbeth playing a central role in the planning and execution of the crime. This section of the novel highlights the psychological tension between the couple, as Lady Macbeth's steely resolve contrasts with Macbeth's hesitations. The murder itself is a pivotal moment, not only in the plot but in the development of Lady Macbeth's character, as it sets the stage for her eventual downfall. Following the murder, the consequences of their actions begin to weigh heavily on both Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. Initially, Lady Macbeth may appear unshaken, but as the story unfolds, the psychological toll of her actions becomes apparent. She starts to experience intense guilt and fear, which gradually erodes her mental stability. Her descent into madness is portrayed with a sense of inevitability, as the weight of her guilt becomes too much to bear. The final chapters of the novel focus on Lady Macbeth's complete unraveling. Isolated and consumed by paranoia, she becomes the shadow of her former self. The once powerful and determined woman is now haunted by the blood on her hands, symbolized by her obsessive hand washing and sleepwalking. Her tragic decline is depicted with a sense of pathos, as readers witness the complete disintegration of her psyche. In the concluding chapter, the novel reflects on Lady Macbeth's legacy. It examines how she is remembered by those around her and by history itself, offering a nuanced perspective on her character. The story ends with a meditation on the themes of power, ambition, and the devastating consequences of unchecked desire, leaving readers to ponder the true nature of Lady Macbeth and whether she was a villain, a victim, or a tragic figure caught in the web of fate. To fully appreciate the intricacies of Lady Macbeth's character and the richness of Reed's writing, reading the novel is recommended. If you enjoyed this summary and want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the book in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.